Where is the R dash? The R dash is the big administrative bit in the southeast of France where you find the Rhone Valley. Is that a word? Administrative bit. It is now. It is now. Okay. Um, um, and uh, basically, yeah, it's the big bit next to, like, on the one side of the Rhone River, mm -hmm. um, where you find a lot of lovely wines um, and where they try a lot of fun things. And it's basically kind of like a regional Bourgogne type appellation, but in the Rhone Valley, kind of, but not quite. It's basically like a big capital region. And they try funky things like Pinot Noir, which is not traditional down there because it's usually too hot. So we're going to give this a shot and see what it's like. 11 quid. We have it in stock. I've already tried it. I know it's nice, but you haven't. No, I haven't. The other thing is that Pinot Noir prices in France are going through the roof. <laughs> and, yeah. yeah, and so finding uh, really good Pinot from different parts of France is, like, yeah. uh, is 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 good. But it does mean you've got to start thinking outside of the traditional regions. I mean, the um, Loire Red Sancerre, for example, is Pinot Noir, yeah, yeah. but that produces a very sort of specifically Grenache style. But the, Pinot. but the other thing is, is that even that you're looking for a decent one. You're looking at twenty quid. True. And, and I think if you if you want to explore Pinot Noir. You're gonna. Have, we. You really have to go to the hotter parts down exactly. south. Exactly, and that that um, cooler stuff is not necessarily what people want. No, because it is an untraditional style of Pinot. But and, this, and I mean, this is what I would. But that call smells. The, this like is the, This is the gateway drug, effectively, <laughs> in into French Pinot. This um, is, that is what good like that. The, it, a good like a, a sort of hotter Pinot has that plump skin roundness yeah. that you smell. And I think I think another thing is that a lot of the hotter parts of the world, that places like America, places like, um, uh, you know, when Australia starts doing it, they're going for this really lovely, crisp, um, sort of zippy, raspberry freshness yeah. there. And, and, and what you need from Pinot sometimes is a bit of softness, a bit of roundness, and yeah. that uh, yeah. has that. that well, that's it's, what the appeal is to me, otherwise I'd just drink a Grenache. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, so it's like you can smell like this is. It's got like, oh, this soft, honestly it? reminds me of like a Gevry or something. I think I think it's got. I think this has some oak on it, but it's not. Definitely smells like it. Um, it does smell like Burgundian oak, where yeah, it's yeah, like fifteen yeah. percent or something. Yeah. Yeah, mm. partial oak, ba uh, oak barrel aging. Yeah, I'm guessing like 10 15 percent on that. New. That's. I mean, it's really pretty. It's cherries. It's 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 nudging into sort of da sort of blackberries, fresh blackberries, but. But you've got that lovely, soft, round, um, sort of kiss of vanilla. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I could easily mistake that for, you know, maybe not an exceptional, but a, a well-made Cote de Nuit Village or something. It's you know? really good. It's really lovely. I and mean, it's, it's dark and it's layered and very French. It feels like, is it from the northern part maybe? I'm not sure. Um, but it doesn't feel too hot. Yeah. yeah, I think also what you're getting with that is you're getting that little bit of a hardness on the end, yeah. which maybe you wouldn't necessarily get from Burgundy. No. That's where the, the heat yeah. is coming in. And it's like, um, you know. um, but that's not a bad thing. You know, you put this with a nice fillet steak, you put this with that's some seared tuna. Drunk. It's more. Yeah, it's, it's got a little bit of a kick to it. But it's not, it's never fair to just be like, it tastes like Burgundy, you mm. should buy it, because that's not the point. Mm. This is a, an exceptional French Pinot. Yeah. Because that is what French Pinot tastes like baseline. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's also 11 quid. It's, yeah, which you're not going to get anything from Burgundy. Um, I'm really pleased we found this a few, few, few what, yeah. about a month and a half, two months, two yeah. months ago. And I'm glad you like it because you're a bit of a Pinot file. Yeah. <laughs> buy it. <laughs> just, just, it's, it's gorgeous. Just buy it. It's lovely. Have a lovely day. Remember to like and subscribe. You need, I'm gonna get you doing the like and subscribe thing. Oh, so I do? Because you can do it, you, you can do it semi-sincerely. Go, do, 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 do. Like and subscribe to our channel and to our various social media platforms.